Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's your low carb queen today, okay? I just wanted to do a small reflection on my first week of the 90 day challenge. So first let's talk about intermittent fasting. So my window is 14 hours off and 10 hours on. I said for the second week, I was gonna switch it up a little bit, but I'll decide that, you know, I'll make my decision in the next day or two. The intermittent fasting is going pretty well. I just need to meal prep. And that's, you know, that's a biggie. I had started trying to do that previously, fell off. I also was making energy shots. I'm gonna make some more for this week. So I think if you meal prep, then that helps when it's time to eat. That helps a lot. So I've just been examining my eating patterns, particularly when I eat a lot of carbs or a lot of junk food. I mean, I love junk food, period. I'm a junk food junkie. Oh my God! And so it just, you know, I'm trying to control my uh, urges or desires to eat junk food. But sometimes I'm triggered by, you know, emotional things going on in my life, um, situations and circumstances. And then sometimes, like I said, I'm always, I have been in the habit of staying up late. I'm a night owl and working on my laptop and then munching to do that, to stay woke or whatever. And so I realized that's a habit that I'm going to have to change if I want to be successful. When I find myself sleepy, then I just need to go to sleep, period. I'm also going to have to um, dig in and get some recipes for sweets because I love dessert. The popsicles are pretty good. You know, they hold me over and so they're pretty good. But I love chocolate, so... Um, I bought some Lily's chocolate chips. I've made some desserts before, but I'm gonna get back into making some low carb desserts. The food that I've been eating, the low carb food has really been good. I feel like I'm successful with that, but it takes a lot of preparation because for me, I may not always have all of the ingredients I need to be successful. So that means that I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store, like if not every day, every other day. And so it takes effort to do that. Um, I wanted to measure like my arms and stuff. I'm not weighing myself right now because it's just about the discipline. Can I be consistent with this for a couple of weeks leading into this total 90 days? If I find myself being consistent and successful, sticking to my intermittent fasting and sticking to my low carbs and the, my fitness pal, then I can get into the weight because the weight is going to just frustrate me if I feel like I'm not losing any or if I'm losing a couple of pounds, you know, and so I just want to be consistent because a lot of times, a lot of times when I am successful and I don't know if you guys have done this or, you know, let me know. A lot of times I will, what I call self-sabotage, I'll reward myself with eating something that I shouldn't eat or Oh, I can have, you know, like the brownie bites that I had this week, but it's not a reward. When I look at it, it's a self-sabotage because if I've lost five pounds and then I eat, you know, some other stuff and then a week or two later, I've gained three of those five pounds back, then it's just not a reward at all. It's really making better choices for a healthy lifestyle. That's what it is. And so that's what I'm trying to do. It's late for me doing it age-wise, but better late than never. I feel good about what I've done so far. I'm taking vitamins. I'm taking B12, iron. I take two probiotics every day. What else do I take? Of course, I take an aspirin every day. Now, I was just watching a video that said cayenne pepper is better than aspirin. So I'll have to, you know, work on that. And of course, I'm taking my regular medications and I take a multivitamin. Vitamin D3, I take, yeah, I take vitamin D every day. But I also have another one of these that's a multivitamin. So I take that every day. So I'm up on my vitamins. My water, I need to increase my water. 
I'm doing good though. I'm drinking like, not including any other liquids like um, a Coke Zero or a bubbly drink or something like that. But I am drinking like at least three bottles of water a day, but I know I should do better. I should get that up to four. My goal for this week is to drink four bottles of water and then the exercise. Um, I'm still gonna stick with three days for now. I would like to do more, but that's what I mean by the consistency. Before I take on anything really, really big, you know, any new new goals towards this big goal, any small goals towards the big goal, I need to just be consistent. So I went over my carb intake twice in seven days and I went over my calories once. So that's not too bad guys. My favorite thing that I ate this week were the TikTok hamburger tacos. Those were absolutely delicious. And again, the taco shell or wrap was the most carbs. The burger was zero and all of the condiments and the lettuce and tomato and all that, that's all minimal on the carbs. So that was like, I could just about eat that every day. Like I could put something on that taco shell and I will be, I'll be using those a lot. So I'm gonna have to stock up on those shells to take the place of bread. And you know, if you wanna share with me your journey, I know some of you started a few days after I did, couple of you have been on your journey already for a long time and I appreciate your words of encouragement but if you know if you had something that you wanted to share or discovered during the course of your journey this week or however long you've been on your journey please share please leave me a comment please let me know because I just want to you know I want to grow in this process I'm determined to be successful determined okay I don't want to I don't want to weigh myself yet I just want to be consistent I want to spend a enough time getting in a routine. Some people say it takes 21 days to change habits. However long it takes, I want to get into a routine of eating low carbs, eating healthy, exercising at least three days a week. And if I can get into that routine, then I will visually be able to see results. And then I can weigh myself, okay? You know, I can put it in my fitness pal or whatever. I'm not sponsored by my fitness pal, but I do do like using it and it offers just a lot of great information you guys tell me if you like the information that I'm leaving y'all about the weight loss journey I mean again that's a level of consistency and accountability for me because I have to put the information in I had a book to write stuff down in. I don't always write stuff down, but I will put what I eat, good, bad, or indifferent, in my fitness pal. I am being consistent with that, so I feel good about that. So this has been a good week. If I had to rate it, I would give it a B minus. I give this week for me a B minus. I did do my exercise. I went over my calories one day, and I went over my carbs two days. So out of a seven day, C plus, B minus, I'm giving myself a B minus. <laughs> As a teacher, sometimes you would ask the students, you know, give yourself a grade, you know, and they would have to be honest. Sometimes it happened and sometimes it didn't happen. So yeah, C plus, B minus, C plus, you know, I know I put in effort. I know I made meals, so I know. Like the spinach and cheese, oh, that was so good. My daughter saved the day when she made that spinach. And um, the potatoes were good. I felt good because you know you can't eat potatoes on a low carb diet. But if you buy the small ones, you know, you can eat two of those and that would be like six or seven carbs. That is a super trade off for me because I love potatoes. And there's another video that I have where I um, used the same small ones and fried them up. They were like a chip, so, so good. So this week I will definitely fry some low carb potatoes, okay? I think that's all. Well, guys, I appreciate y'all so much for helping me on this journey. 81 days to go on this 90-day weight loss journey. We can do this, y'all. Join in. It's not too late. It is not too late, okay? We're going to watch our own transformation, okay? All right, guys. I will see you in the next video. Low-carb journey, low-carb life with your low-carb queen. And remember, every day is a new beginning. Bye-bye.